हेलो दिस इज दशरथ मिठा पली वे आर गोइंग नंबर फोर फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट टू दैट इज केबल्स नो व्हाट आर केबल्स केबल इज अ परफेक्टली फ्लेक्सिबल एंड इन एक्सटेंसिबल टेंशन मेंबर नो रेजिस्टेंस टू शेयर बेंडिंग सेम एज ट्रस बार द फोर्स एक्टिंग the cable is always tangent to the cable at point along its length cable type structure first one suspension roof suspension bridge cable cars and transmission lines so these are examples assumptions made in analysis of cable the weight of the cable is negligible compared with the load applied on the cable any portion of the cable between successive loads can be considered as a two force member and the internal forces at any point in the cable reduced to a force tension direction directed along the cable third point the cable and the supporting loads are in one vertical plane fourth assumption the cross section of the cable is uniform so you can see a portion of the cable so supported at a and supported at b c in cables both the supports are hinge support so there will be two reactions acting in the opposite direction so you can see here at support a in support and similarly at support b and t1 t2 t3 t1 t2 t3 and t4 are nothing but tensions in the string ac cd de and E B. So here is one more example. So you can see here. So support A is a hinge support. Similarly, support D is also a hinge support. So for that, you can so like this support reactions. Similarly, tension in the member, tension in the portion. of the cable ab bc and cd now you can see here db that is nothing but sag at that point and similarly dc that is sag at c point similarly you have to also find the angles theta i theta b and theta c from the geometry of the figure that is free body diagram you can refer so steps for analysis of cable so first step is what though the cable is supported by fixed supports at a and d behaves as a pin or a hinge supports as cable is flexible member second one being the nature of force in the cable is tensile the direction of reaction components and the force at any point of the cable is always acts away from the point so you can see here so ay and ax in those reactions are shown away from the job to determine the support reactions free body diagram of the whole cable and free body diagram of the portion of the cable from the supports to the point whose sag or elevation is known are considered and apply equations of equilibrium summation fx summation fy and summation m equals to 0 means what so this is sag db and sag dc if you are knowing any one of the value you can take section about that portion and you can consider left or right and 
portion and you can use equations of equilibrium and find the required data so we will see numericals also we will so fourth point the tension in the cable near the support is same as that of the support reactions means tab is nothing but reaction at that point that is ra tcd that is reaction at d point you can see this is a fact similarly fifth and assumption step for analysis of cable if all loads acting on the cable are vertical then the horizontal components of tension in each portion of the cable and horizontal component of the support reactions are equal in magnitude that is ax equals to tab cos theta a, which is equals to tbc that is cos theta b which is equal to tcd cos theta c and dx the tension in the cable is maximum where the cable makes the largest inclination with the horizontal means suppose this is theta so if this value is more okay then theta d then there will be a maximum tension in the cable or maximum reaction at that point to solve a problem in general either the sag of any one point of the cable or the horizontal component of tension in the cable must be known means in the numerical they will give you the value of sag of any one if there are two sags in the cable so one sag will be given to you or related to that some geometrical dimensions will be given to you next last point near the support if cable is horizontal then the supports will have only horizontal component which is equal to the tension in that portion of the cable okay while num solving the numerical you will understand better those points just you have to read it and try to understand now first numerical two loads are suspended as shown in figure so figure number I given as 28 it is not 28 from the cable ABCD knowing that DC that is sag at C point 0.75 and sag DB that is 1.125 meter determine the components of reactions at A maximum tension in the cable so here two sags are given to you and they have said us to find the reactions at the supports so first of all given figure is over here okay so we have drawn a free body diagram for that so support reactions as those are in support we have shown the support reactions so similarly from the geometry you have to find the angles also so this sag is known this dimension is known so you can find this theta a similar you can find this angle also and if you draw a straight line over here you can find this theta c also but it is not required we have to only find the support reactions so go for summation f y equals to 0 so a y equals to d y so this a y equals to d y which is equals to 30 plus 22.5 so here you can see y plus dy equals to my 52.5 summation fx ax equals to dx go for 30 question of equilibrium summation m equals to 0 you can take moment about a or you can take moment about other end so i will take moment about a so what i am doing i am taking moment about a point so if I am taking moment about A so this is rotating clockwise this is rotating clockwise this is rotating anticlockwise so unknown is what dy so I will get value of dy so once I get value of dy I can replace over here 
we place it here you will get value as a1 now consider portion cd consider portion cd so if you take a section line about c point okay taking moment about c point dy into 1 so if i take moment about if i take section like this and if i take right hand side so if i take moment about this point so what will happen dx is rotating clockwise and dy is rotating anti-clockwise only those two will remain so i'll get value of dx so once i get value of dx that is nothing but ax so here ra is nothing but c to find ra so so like this the forces are okay so for ra so this will be nothing but reaction so you can use reaction set a summation f by summation fx so summation f by fx is not required that is a by and ax under root ax square plus a by square you will get ra similarly you can calculate for the other end also so like this you will get support reactions for that so that's it it completes the numerical so next numerical on cable that is three loads of 10 kilonewton 15 kN, 20 kilonewton are sub suspended as shown in the figure for the string a b so this is string a b as shown in the figure if the point d is at a depth 3 meters so sag at d point is given to us which is 3 meter they are not given sag of this and this okay okay what they have said us to find find vertical reactions at a and b so you have to find support reactions support reactions you have to find support reactions at a and b second horizontal thrust at a and b and sag of points c and e now so first of all draw free body diagram okay show over here Y C and this so by using equations of equilibrium you can find the support reactions so you will see here the first is what given is L equals to 12 meter entire length so vertical reactions at A and B taking moment about A and equating the same if you take moment about A If you take moment about see here you are having supports like this so we'll take moment about a so vb into 12 equals to 10 into 3 plus 15 into 6 plus 20 into 9 equals to 300 so vv you will get that is 25 kilonewton and similarly va 
which we will get that is 20 kN. Now consider the horizontal thrust at A and B. H equals to horizontal thrust at A and B. Consider the equilibrium of the string A, C, D. Taking moment of the force acting on the string A, C, D about D point. So if I take moment about D point. Okay. So H into 3. equals to 20 into 6 minus 10 into 3 equals to 90 see this figure I have taken ready-made that is from the figure only okay so you can see directly the values over here but when you equate those equations you will get the values so you have to use first equations of equilibrium to find those so next is what we want to find sag of point C and point E so YC and YE we don't know ok taking moment of the forces acting in the string AC about C and equating the same so you can cut over here okay and you can take the left hand side or right hand side portion of that so we are knowing already value of ax and ay so you can take moment about c point so you will get value of yc that is sag at that point And similarly, taking moment of forces acting in the string EB, you can take section at this portion, okay. And you can consider left or right side of that, and you can take the moment. So here also you will get value of Y. So you got the values of both the sacks. See, for calculations, you have to consider the supports as hinge support and you have to find those reactions so moving to the next numerical cable a b c d e is loaded and supported as shown in the figure calculate the reactions at the hinge ends a and e so here you have to find the reactions at a and e also compute the tensions in all segments of the cable so you can consider like this ok ax ay similarly ex ey so free body diagram is drawn over here to find here support reactions so these now cables are at the supports are at different levels similar to numericals where the supports were at the same level so just show those and similarly by from the geometry try to find the angles so use equations of equilibrium so summation effects so when you go for summation fx you will get ax equals to ex so for support ax and ex now next go for summation fy equals to 0 summation fy equals to 0 consider all vertical forces all vertical forces so you will get ax plus ey equals to 900 now take moment about any one point you can take moment about E or you can take moment about A so while taking moment what we require we require the dimensions with respect to the point where you are taking moment 
so I'm taking moment about E so AX how it is rotating it is rotating anti-clockwise AY is rotating clockwise so here I have considered clockwise as negative and anti-clockwise as positive so ax into 4 minus ay into 8 plus 200 into 6 plus 300 into 4 plus 400 into 2 so i will get a equation ax minus 2ay equals to minus 800 so i'm not knowing the values over here also so now here i know the sag of which portion that is of portion a to b okay so if i take that and if i consider only the left portion of that so free body diagram of that i will take moment about b so what will happen so ax is anti-clockwise plus ay is clockwise so i will get value of ay in terms of ax ay equals to 2ax replace in the equation number 3 you will get value of ax similarly when you replace that in equation 4 you will get value of ay so once you get those two you can replace in equation 1 and 2 you will get the values so support reactions ra equals to underscore ax square plus ay square so you will get ra similarly theta also you will get tan inverse ay upon ax and similarly at the other support also so like this in cables you have to solve the numericals now moving to the joint B so where is joint B so joint B is over here okay so taking that joint we have to also find the tension in the cable also so joint B so is all the forces and go for summation fx summation f by so here you will get values that is summation fx when you take you will get tbc cos theta equals to 266.71 that is fifth, fifth equation similarly tbc sin theta b equals to 333.31 so here tbc cos theta tbc sin theta so if you take both the equations that is equation 5 and 6 if you divide both equations you will get value of theta so once you get value of theta you can replace in equation number 5 and 6 you will get the value of tbc next consider joint c same thing you have to you have to resolve the forces okay go for summation fx summation fy you will get two equations here also in terms of sine and cos so here also you can find the theta so once you get the value of theta you can find the tension in cd thank you